Hey folks, Brody Dorland here with a quick video tip on how to duplicate a content item in the new Divi HQ sandbox. As you can see, I've got a blog post open here, and um, let's say that I want to repurpose this blog post content into an email. So what I'm going to do is, on my blog post here, um, up in the header area, we've got the duplicate icon, uh, as you can see there. And I'm going to go ahead and just hit that, and um, the form is going to show me or give me the option to uh, pick a date for this new uh, email that I'm going to do. So it uh, looks like the deadline for the blog post is May 31st, so I'm going to go ahead and let's say that I'm going to go ahead and send this the next day, maybe to help promote the blog post. And I'll go ahead and choose that, and the time really doesn't matter, so let me go ahead and just pick 3 o'clock. Um, so from here, I can either hit duplicate, which will just go ahead and save this new content item, but in many cases, you probably want to start working with that duplicate and, and make some adjustments to it, make some edits to the details uh, and, and various other changes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit duplicate and edit. And then, so now the system is going to go ahead and create that exact copy of that content item. And so now we're thinking, okay, this is going to be an email. So maybe some things have changed like uh, the calendar. Instead of the blog calendar, maybe we have an email calendar. So I'm going to put that on that calendar. Maybe the content type has changed. Maybe some of the content itself will need to change uh, as we start working with this content piece. So I'll go ahead and make those adjustments real quick. Uh, let me change the calendar from the Acme blog to the weekly scoop. This is one of our email pieces. Um, and um, there's also some conflict resolution that happens behind the scenes. I'll go ahead and hit OK. I'll go ahead and choose the content type. So then I'll choose email. There it is. And then uh, let me go ahead and save those changes. Now, if there was actual content in this, this is, again, just a, a, a demo. Uh, so we don't have any content in this. But uh, if there was content in this, I could go ahead and start working with the content to maybe summarize the content down from blog post, blog post version to email version. So I uh, just wanted to quickly walk through that. Hope that uh, makes sense. And um, certainly we, we want to make sure that you guys have some nice tools to be able to repackage and repurpose content easily. And the duplicate content function uh, should help you do that. Thanks for watching and happy divvying.